Hey everybody, Kenzie here. I hope you're all well. So, this isn't a video that I would normally do, but I figured I would make it, um, just cause it seems to be a very hot topic on YouTube right now in the, uh, especially in the mukbang community. Um, <clears throat> there seems to be a lot of drama revolving around Nikocado Avocado. Um, I've followed him for maybe about a year or so now, um, right from the early beginning when uh, he was making videos with Orlin when they were still together and stuff. And as everybody knows, there's been lots of drama revolving around um, him and Orlin and their relationship was getting blasted all over the internet. It was more or less uh, he said, he said thing. Um, Orlin would say something, and then Nick Okada would say something, and everybody, nobody really know, knows who to believe, like, what's actually going on. So it's been more or less, they've been going back and forth, lashing at each other, and it's caused a huge outrage and storm on YouTube. Um, but I happened to notice, uh, I had watched his last upload that he had done. Um, at first, like, watching it, I didn't know who he was actually talking about because he didn't mention any names until towards the end, which I didn't watch that far in because um, when he posts negative videos, once I realize they're negative, I stop watching because I don't like hearing negative things or seeing negative things on the internet about people. Now, his recent video has sparked outrage um, as he made a video about Divine Munchies, as a lot of you know who that is. Um, she's also a fellow YouTuber. She does mukbangs. She's a vegan mukbanger. Um, I've followed her for a few years now, and I've always liked her, even some of her ASMR content and stuff. Um, but there's some sort of thing going on between her and Nikocado at the moment. Um, again, it's more of a he said, she said kind of thing. She posted a video about it the other, uh, I think it was earlier today. It was earlier today she posted it or yesterday, I'm not sure. I just watched it today. Um, and she's explaining to everybody what's actually happening, um, that she's not trying to be rude to him or anything like that. But it's, I don't know, it's really hard to understand what's going on between these two because Nick is saying one thing and she's saying another. Now, Nick is claiming that she is outing him and calling him fat and stuff like that. Um, and I know how YouTube is. Um, you don't necessarily have to implement tags yourself into your videos. YouTube will sometimes, their system will automatically add them or people, if they're given access, can add tags to your videos. And there were a few on her video that were saying Nikocado avocado fat, Nikocado this, Nikocado that, just a bunch of tags. So he went off on Instagram and he put her on blast, which I'm going to attach the clip of that Instagram story to this video so you guys can see what he said. Um, but I don't know, it's just, it's weird. It's so much drama going on with him right now. And I've always looked up to him as a positive person and just lately it's just been... I don't know. So, I don't know if he'll see this video. Uh, he'll probably block me from his Instagram if he does see this, which, if he does, I don't know. I just, I don't think it's fair that he's not actually listening to what she's saying because she's never actually given me reason not to like her. Like, she seems like a very positive person and stuff. And Nick was always... A positive person up until his divorce with Orlin and all that crap that's been going on on social media and everything so I really don't know so if you guys want to feel free to leave a comment down below and let me know your opinion um, I'm not looking for any hate or anything like that or any bad mouthing towards Nikocado because I'm not bad mouthing him and I'm not bad mouthing her I'm just more or less just a confused watcher more or less I've been like I said subscribed to both of them for a while so I'm just confused about going on about what's going on and trying to figure this out so yeah so take a watch here this is Nick Okado's story he in uploaded to Instagram earlier today so yeah um, enjoy <laughs> right now 
I see her manipulating as usual, as usual, as she's always done. And guess what? She left some evidence. Let me show you. Now, if you go to her video, I have this thing, which is like an analytical thing. These are the tags that she used. Nikocado avocado fat. Video, she paints the stage from the get-go as I don't have any ill things to say about him. I'm not going to name call him. I would never do what he did and call me names. You know, passive aggressive stuff, being manipulative. Because I don't know if you know, but as a YouTuber, you get a link your video to key, you know, searches. She's trying to get view rate and clicks off of me based on people attacking my weight. People that have looked up Nikocado fat videos that are hateful. Sorry, I'm the person that straight up tells it like it is. I have no problem saying, hey, this person's manip manipulative. If they're stupid, I'll call you stupid. I, I have nothing to hide. Passive aggressiveness is what she is. She'll turn on the camera and be like, oh yeah, I don't mean to call anyone names. I would never stoop down to his level. Oh, I don't know why he would say such a thing. It's like, because I know how you are, bitch. I know how you are. You're gonna come across on camera and be one way, but then go off camera and write out Nick Akato's fat. At this point, I'm so over it. Literally, this, I think from the get-go, this was her plan. I've never made a whole video about her where I sit down and make a whole video about someone. How many times has she done this to me? At least three times that I know of. No bullshit when I see bullshit. When she sits there and says, oh yeah, I made the mistake of, you know, contacting my manager. Which, by the way, do you know how many thousands of people work for YouTube? By the way, do you know of something called client confidentiality? Do you really think, it's just, I don't know what world she lives in, but... If she truly felt bad, do you think she would have left all her other videos about me up that were made two months ago, three months ago? No, she would have contacted me privately and said, Nick, I'm sorry, or she would have removed them after hearing from her manager who told her, lady, I can't tell you either way because I don't know the information. No, it's because she didn't feel bad. She thought it was completely normal. You know, first of all, I just want to say, I probably even shouldn't even say this, but your manager changes many times. As you get more subscribers, you get new contacts. As you grow, I'm about to hit a million. Guess what? I got way more contacts than her. But since I decided to react to it a couple days ago, well, I filmed that like a week ago, because I reacted to it, all of a sudden, no, I really felt bad about it. I shouldn't have done that. No, you didn't feel bad about anything. You're only using this to twist it to get views off me. I didn't talk about her looks. I didn't say so-and-so is too fat, too skinny, too ugly. No, I said that she's hard to believe. I said that I've had to deal with a lot of bullshit off camera with her, but that's based on action. What she's doing is based on appearance, and it's just, it's just so annoying when I see it and no one else sees it. It is funny because we were supposed to collab back in the day. I don't know why she's bringing it up now. I mean, it was almost two years ago. This winter will be two years. It's been a year and a half. Um, I think I had like 50,000 subscribers back then. A lot has changed. And we came from the same group of people. And I think she's mad I took off and she didn't. It probably does sound mean to say that. But I'm, guess what? It's the truth. You know, don't bring up something. If you're not going to back it up, like I'll say what I actually feel. Like if she thinks I'm fat, she should just say it in the video instead of playing this charade here. You know, that's... <sighs> Yes, she's going to have a lot of people fooled. And the ironic thing is that's exactly what I tried to emulate in the video. Folding my hands, you know, imitating her. I'm at one with my food, spread positivity. It's all an act. And now she twisted it to make it seem like I'm the wrong. Like, I'm in the wrong. Like, I'm the rude one because I imitated her. Like, I'm the rude one because whatever. No, I'm the honest one because I'm not going to be one way on camera and another way off camera. She's the rude one, but no one's going to know that. No, I'm not making a video all about her because that's exactly what she wants. You know, that's why my name's in her title. That's why there's offensive tags. She's trying to irritate me, don't you guys understand? To get a reaction out of me because that will help her dying channel, which I wasn't ashamed to admit. Because guess what? I'm going to tell the truth. I'm going to tell the truth on camera, unlike her. Yet I'm the rude one? Okay. It sucks, you know. I would love to defend myself. It's human instinct to defend yourself. I would love to make multiple videos going into detail after detail saying everything. But the nature of the beast being on YouTube is that that's airtime, that's traffic to her channel, and that was the plan all along. Which is why, if you don't know who I'm talking about, don't even worry about it. Seriously, it's no big deal. It's gonna be old news in two days, because that's how social media works. People get over stuff really fast, because there's always shit happening on the internet. So, yeah, don't even worry about it. But if you do know, just know, she's playing ya. What else she did? Blocked my YouTube account so that I can't leave a comment to defend myself so that I'm forced to make a video all about her to send her all my viewers. She blocked me so I can't even comment. 
Here's my Nikocado avocado account, and I left a comment a few minutes ago basically saying what I've told you guys. But if I switch on over to Noodle King, Noodle's comments, not even there, because I've been blocked. It's gone. I'm so pissed. I hate when people exploit me, especially my weight, which is zero re relevancy to this video. Great trait of a good manipulator. 100% convincing. Exploiting me.